Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's happening? Welcome to Unpopping Reacts. I'm T Storm, DJ Mike Swift. What's happening, brother? What's what's going on, bro? Um, here we uh, have some uh, bite-sized content for you to uh, uh, absorb, to to take into your spirit. Something to give you a a, a little chuckle. So at whatever time of the day you may be watching this. Um, but before we jump into it, I think Mike has a message that he wants you to know. How do you like that? That was. <laughs> I feel like Sally Struthers about to <laughs> talk about the the fucking cats. Um, no, like make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, uh, like the video, leave a comment. If you don't like the video, dislike the video, leave us a comment, tell us why. Uh, it helps us with the YouTube algorithm. It helps us grow, and you can join the Unpopping community. Yes, and you can help feed Sally Struthers one cat a day for just three cents a week. No, too too far. <laughs> Shit, sorry. Peter might think so, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> too far? <laughs> sorry, so says, I stopped eating cats months ago. <laughs> People won't let that go. You People eat one cat. You and- one damn cat. <laughs> you never let you forget it. Oh my it's not god! Not the pussy I was supposed to eat. Apparently, okay. So, oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! A, <laughs> and every once in a while. So I ran across this this video, and it was a guy that seemed pretty amazed um, by the tone of, of his voice. Sounds like a uh, someone of European descent. Um, listening to uh, Notorious B.I.G.'s Juicy, he was amazed at the reference of rap and Duke. I'll just let you hear it. Okay, this is crazy. I'm just finding this out. But this next lyric is based off this. Remember rap and Duke, the ha to ha, you never thought that hip hop would take it this far. Well, listen to this. This is by Sean Brown. Rap and Duke came out in 1984. Sure, I rustle some. Wow. Okay, this is crazy. I'm just finding this out. Okay. Um, I I like to submit a remix. A uh, duh. <laughs> That's all I have for that. Like, like come on. You're that late? This uh, this is uh, again new negroes. And you don't have to be black to be a new negro. These new negroes out here don't know shit. How you don't know the reference rapping duke from Biggie? I I Everybody knows that, I assume. Am, am I wrong on this? Am I alone on this one? Or, you know, am I too too long in the tooth, you know, that I can't appreciate the new Negroes won't know shit? I, is, is, no? My man is 37 years late. Super late. Okay, Super late. I think even the kids know the rapping dude. They, they, I mean, at least from, to. from Biggie, have the hearing it. Uh, research to see what he was talking about, or whatever. But I, I, maybe that's our fault. It's our fault. Our fault as you know, part of you know, hip hop community being in, immersed in the culture that we haven't propped up some of the things that we grew up listening to as you know enough. You know, maybe we haven't. You know, I, there is a, you know there is a a thing within hip hop where you you know new is always where you you know everybody's always going to the new the new thing the new thing and. The stuff from the foundation, and you know, from argue, it's not propped up enough. It's not taught enough. It's not. We don't hear it enough. I don't. I can't think of the last time I heard rap and Duke. I think, uh, but I listened to it because I remember it. It's not my favorite song, but I remember being. Uh, I remember being entertained by it and hearing it on the radio. Um. Yeah, I remember I when it came out. I'm right there with you. <clears throat> I remember being entertained by it. Um, and it just, it was just kind of a way of life, right? Like you, you just knew it, right? It just was what it was. Um, so it was shocking to me that he, he was that far in the dark. He had never heard it. 
uh, and he was just shocked by it. Um, <clears throat> but I do, you know, all jokes aside, I do blame, I do blame us, right? Yeah. Um, we just, we allow our culture to be treated as just a consumer product and not treat it like a culture, right? Um, and it, you know, it, it it is what it is. You know, I think we're all a little bit culpable in that regard. But, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, so perhaps we need to start something to remind people now, and it's not to live in the past because I, I I do enjoy going forward and seeing the new, right? I do I do enjoy that aspect of life in general, and definitely with music. There's music that's nostalgic, you know, that has nostalgia value that you know I enjoy. Um, perhaps we need to you know do something, some sort of prop up to forgotten movements and tunes and and you know things that you mean part like of a, the culture like a website that yeah yeah Some, yeah it, something that you know but people can go and research and see the things that came before them like what what, what could that be mike uh i think it's something out there called the hip-hop 101 online.com i think that I think you're right. I think that would that would definitely that would definitely help. Um, if you're confused, you can go to unpoppinshow dot com and go down and and find us, and you'll find a link to said website on on that website as well. So um, do your due diligence. Um, help to uh, revive hip hop and new Negroes out there. Learn something. Also, you too can prevent forest fires. No. All right. So we're going to do something. We're going to do a little bit of a departure here. So right now I'm going to talk about something. Since we're talking about hip hop, we're talking about hip hop 101, um, <clears throat> the website. I'm going to talk about something that happened today. And then we're going to judge this later and see if we leave it in. Cause I got a little bit of smoke for some people and I'm real hot about it. Okay. So, and it's T T is unaware of all of this. This is, he's, he's shifting in his tell. chair. <laughs> yeah, I was going to leave off on my Smokey the Bear joke, but let's roll. Let's go. So I'm I'm laying in bed today and I'm on AMC. I'm using my AMC app and I'm I'm looking for something to watch. Mm-hmm. And then I see, oh man, that image is too small. Let me pull it back up on the website. I see something that I find disturbing. Mm-hmm. I see uh, a program called... Hip hop, the songs that shook America. Okay. And I'm like, fuck me in the face. All right. So <laughs> the the producers of this show, Quest Love, okay. Black Thought, mm-hmm. and a couple of other cats who are not as notable. They're the executive producers of the show. Okay. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you what the logo for that show looks like. Hmm. Can you see it here? Uh, yeah. Hip hop, the songs that shook America. Now I'm going to show you the logo for hip hop 101 that I own. (laughs) Oh, shit. Okay, so your um, your response tells me it's not just me. Wow, go back to go back to the AMC. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, they they took the dash out, bro, and connected the peas. There is a. Okay. Now, this show was put together in 2019. Okay. I put that logo together and put together Hip Hop 101 back in 2012. Okay. So, for those that are unfamiliar with how calendars work, (laughs) I put mine together first. (laughs) Right. 
And it's um, trademarked. Legally trademarked. Okay. So I'm not very happy about that. So, folks, what you may be witnessing is the beginnings of a a trademark infringement um, uh, 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 battle, possibly. Yay, nay. I'm I'm not saying because I don't want to say anything that uh, that could be held against me legally. Okay. So I'm just saying it, there are remarkable similarities it, between the logo that I created myself. I did not pay someone to do that. That is not work for hire that perhaps another artist, maybe they hired is none of that. I created that myself back in actually I created it in 2011. I didn't popularize it until about 2012. And I think the trademark uh, stuff got done late 2012, early 2013. Uh, but there are striking similarities between what I created as my trademark brand and what they created and what they're using as their trademark brand. Wow. And my trademark has not lapsed. So there's okay. that. So I'm not there's happy about that. Striking similarities. Um, and this will not be resolved on this episode, but folks, go to hip hop. How, how, what is it? Hip hop one on one online dot com dot com. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs> that <laughs> I, took a dark I, turn. Because right, I don't want to say something to fuck it up either. So I'm like, let me <laughs> tread lightly. We just back away slowly and go, ah, peace. <laughs> mm-hmm.